Hello and welcome back to my artistry. As some of you know that I take my art inspiration from nature. I see a flower or a season or maybe an animal print and put that to work in my talent. As you can see, almost all my tumblers are an extract from these real life visions. In this video, I will be making a special tumbler that is inspired from the Netflix documentary Penguin Town. You can look at this magnificent tumblers. I am depicting over the tumblers one of the inspiring stories of the documentary, The Bougainvilliers. These are basically two penguins, a father and a son named Twig. And these three penguins on the other island are basically bullies, the car park gang that harasses the Bougainvilliers. Message. The story in the documentary show how the duo, the father and the son, survived the harsh environment and overcome their bullies. So this is a backstory for my inspiration in making these tumblers. And in addition, I want to incorporate both the day and the night life of these penguins here in this tumbler. I will show you how I did that at the end of this video. I think it is an interesting concept and the boys I made these tumblers for love them. Here they are enjoying and sipping from it. Let's move ahead to the making. But before that, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below and like this video. As you can see, there's a lot of hard work that goes into the making, editing and giving voice over to the video and a new concept tumbler every time. So subscribe and share. This is a 10 ounces stainless steel insulated tumbler. I have sanded it and sprayed it with primer plus white paint. I have applied painter's tape on the top edge and inside the tumbler and this is how it looks when done. This is the basic preparation before applying colors. These are the stickers I have made using Cricut Explore. We will go into it more in detail a little later. I will be using this alcohol inks to paint the background for the tumbler with a paintbrush and more importantly a toothpick. The tip of the toothpick is coated with resin so that the inks do not get absorbed in the wood but are transferred to the tumbler. And lastly I will be using some isopropyl alcohol to dilute the inks. This is our first color the holiday blue. Just add a couple of drops in your paint tray and add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol. Mix them and with the help of the resin coated toothpick draw an outline. Here I am drawing an iceberg. Another iceberg at its back. This will be the level of the water or the ocean in the background and some icy mountains far behind. Okay. 
oh it has become a little thick so wiping it with alcohol and redoing it This is our second shade, the eyes blue, using a tiny paintbrush to give it some color to the inside borders of the icebergs and mountains. This is the third shade, the process blue. I am using it to color the water and draw some waves with the paintbrush. The fourth shade is pale porcelain blue. I like this color, using it to color the pale sky and clouds in the background. The last color I am using here is natural gray and two shade number. This gives a little gray shade to the eyes and make them look more natural. We need to cover the base of the tumbler. I am using here the color we use for the water. With the gray shade, I am making a good base for the icebergs where the penguins will stand. After coloring the tumblers with alcohol ink, we need to secure them with varnish. Otherwise, we will lose the inks when we add epoxy resin. I am simply coating the tumbler a couple of times with a spray varnish in outdoor. Next, I am making the penguin stickers in Cricut Explorer machine using the print then cut method. Here I have printed the stickers and inserting the vinyl sheet into the Cricut Explorer using a mat. It's gonna accurately cut the penguins we need.
Now the varnish is all right and let's start placing the stickers. The little twig will go here on the airline and the father bougainvillea at his side. On the other iceberg, I am sticking the naughty penguin pack glaring at Bougainvillea's. This is the name of the little boy I made Tumblr for. I made the name using a black colored vinyl in Cricut. Stick the name using a transfer tape and peel it off. And this is the other tumbler. When the tumbler is ready with all the stickers in place, clamp the tumbler onto the turner machine. Here I am using CCDIY Artist Resin. Mix equal parts of resin and hardener. And I have added in resin some glow in the dark border from Recollections. Applying the resin and blow off the air bubbles with a blow torch. When I switch off the lights, this is how it looks. Spectacular. I didn't expect that they will actually blow this much, but I am loving it. I will leave the tumblers spinning on the machine for around 6 hours and touch them after 24 hours when the resin is cured. And I will also add another layer just to make sure they are thick and uniform everywhere. So this is the final result. The resin coating is uniform throughout the tumbler and the top edge is smoothened all around. The kids will definitely love this tumbler and to this surprise the night vision too. Another great reason for them to stay hydrated. 
Hope you all love this Tumblr making tutorial. Make sure to hit like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon for notifications. If you want such Tumblrs or want to see any specific theme Tumblr, comment down below in the comment section or DM me directly. All my social media links are in the description below. Take care, stay blessed and bye.